Well, good day, good day to each and every one of you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day that you are viewing, it is a good day. Y'all come on in, come on in. We're going to have a great time today. Yes, we are, for this is another day, another day that God has blessed us with. Yes, he chose you and he chose me that on today, that you and I would be coming together, that we would be doing life together, that today we would be connecting together. But more importantly, we are connecting with Christ. Hallelujah. Y'all come on in. Come on. We're going to have a great time on today. Oh, yes, we are. I see you. I see you coming. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill, our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver, and we're just happy today. We are delighted that we have this time of sharing, coming together with you. Y'all, come on. We're going to have a great time on today. I see you. There's still time. Y'all, come on. We're just about to start our devotional now. Let's look at our devotion. Today, of course, is April the 7th, and the devotion says, Get ready. Stay ready. Get ready. Type that in. Get ready and stay ready. That's what our devotion is today. Our devotion today is written by Cassandra Tiersma. Cassandra Tiersma. Let's dive into the devotional for this morning. Here we are. Cassandra lives in a five season climate fall, winter, spring, summer, and fire. One fire season when smoke from surrounding wildfires blanketed their little town, the sheriff issued an evacuation warning. In the eerie stillness of parked vehicles as they waited, packed to the hilt, ready to flee at a moment's notice, blessedly, it never came to that. Once the threat of danger subsided, they breathed sighs of relief, contemplating how they would prepare better or differently for the next time. Grateful to have escaped total loss and devastation from the wildfire, they returned to normal life gradually. They, they began to feel safe again. Eventually, emergency checklists were stored away. Grab-and-go boxes were unpacked or shuffled off into the basements and, and set aside until another fire season came through. Preparing for an evacuation reveals the fears and priorities. During one fire season, Cassandra confesses that besides important papers and other essentials, she also packed a huge box of shoes just in case. Besides a quick getaway during a fire, what we should be preparing for is Jesus' return. Hallelujah. What we should have packed and ready to go is a heart devoted to Jesus, not shoes. And not just during a fire season because Jesus said to always be ready. And until that day, we all should continue preparing for a possible evacuation. We may not have five seasons, but we are to always, always be asking Jesus 
to prepare our hearts for his return. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise. Somebody say, get ready and stay ready. Hallelujah. Now is the time. Get ready. But not only just get ready, but to stay ready. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for this devotion. Let's move now to our scripture of consideration of the day. We're going to go over to Luke 17, verse 31. <coughs> Excuse me. It says, on that day, a person out on the deck of a roof must not go down into the house to pack. A person out in the field must not return home. Lord, have mercy. Let's look at it closely here. Luke 17 and 31. First of all, you all know what it's talking about here. We're talking about the rapture in Jesus' return, the coming of the Lord. It says, on that day, <laughs> a person out on a deck of a roof must not go down into a house to pack. People will be doing what they normally do every day out and about in their, their jobs, their homes, vacationing, wherever they are, that's where they'll be. And it's saying just here, this man out on the roof, if he's out on the roof, he, he's not going to have time to go down and pack. He's got to already be ready. His heart has got to be right with the Lord already. A person out in the field must not return home. You're not going to have time to run home, return home, to go pack, to get ready. For we know not the moment nor the hour. He's coming back in the twinkling of an eye. He's saying, get ready. Now is the time. Today is the day to get ready. But not only get ready, but to stay ready you got to stay ready for that return hallelujah lord i thank you i thank you for this word on the day it says on that day a person out on the deck of a roof must not go down into the house cannot go down in the house will not have time to go down into the house and pack a person out in the field will not be able to return home just like that get ready and stay ready hallelujah lord i thank you i thank you for this word let's let's go to god now in prayer hallelujah dear lord our god our king of kings god today god we just praise you god we thank you God, we lift you up. God, we're recognizing indeed that you are the author, the finisher of our faith. You are our creator. You are our redeemer. And so we praise you and thank you for all praises belong to you. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you today. We thank you for another day of life. Another day that you've allowed us to become closer to you, God. Another day that you've allowed us to get ready. Hallelujah, God, today we're declaring we are getting ready. God, not only are we getting ready, but we're with the intent to stay ready. God, our plan is to stay ready for you. For we know, hallelujah, we know, Heavenly Father, that on that day it will happen in the twinkling of an eye. We won't have time to get ready, God. We, we want to be ready for your return. So God, thank you. Thank you for this reminder today. Thank you, God, for just pricking our hearts, our spirits, and letting us know, God, that, that, that indeed your return is soon to take place. And so we praise you today. We thank you for this warning. We thank you for this word. Heavenly Father, today we are praying right now for all of those, God, who are viewing today, family members of those that are viewing, God, even those who are, who are not viewing today, we're praying, God, that on today, those who don't know you will come to know you. God will confess their sins. God will confess and, 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 and state today, God, that they, they believe in you, that your son Jesus came to this earth, that he walked this earth, that he lived on this earth, that he died and he rose again for their sins. God, today, may God, those come to know you on today and experience your goodness. Right now, God, help them to get ready. Oh, my God, God, and that not only will they get ready, but they will stay ready. God, continue to sweep through this land, this world, and this country. God, continue to, to just be that beacon light, God, that we see you in all that we do, God. We see you in everything that is about us, God. So we praise you right now. We love you today, and we declare, God, that we are going to stay ready. 
And now, God, we ask you, keep us that we might be kept and bless us today that we may be more of a blessing to someone else. God, do it for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. And everybody, everybody said amen and amen. Come on, give God some praise, some thanks this morning. Just let them know that we are just excited. We're happy about this word. We thank him for just reminding us that indeed we are to get ready and to stay ready. Stay ready for his return. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you today. Well, I trust and pray that today's devotion was a blessing to you. If it was a blessing, share it today. Share it with someone else today. Someone needs to know. Someone needs to hear today that the time is now for us to get ready and to stay ready. Share this word on today. You as well, I ask you, ask Jesus. Ask Jesus today how to prepare for his return. And then thank him. Thank him that the only checklist, the only checklist that matters in the end is the one in the book of life with your name written on it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver, and we're located right here in the beautiful city of Chesapeake, Virginia, 3633 Galbury Road right here in Chesapeake, Virginia. We have opened back up. Well, we'll be opening back up on Easter Sunday completely. No registration. So come on out and see us. We look forward to you worshiping with us. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much for viewing, for viewing today. We know today that truly you could have been anywhere else. But today, right now. You are with us, and we praise God for each and every one of you. I ask you now, tune in with us. Tune in with us again on tomorrow. Tune in, 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. We trust, we pray, we know that you will be blessed for having done so. Please know today that I love you, but God. God loves you best. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.